All right, Duracoat Finish Firearms brought to you by Duracoat.com. Duracoat Fire Finishes.com, yeah. So just a, a, a quick admin note. Um, the the Duracoat Firearms Finishes uh, firearm finishes page has been updated and uh, they've got a, a a tribute to the late one the great one steve lauer the uh the patriarch of the duracoat family the inventor the designer the innovator the father the grandfather and uh the the man who hated sleeves Steve Lauer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, buddy. The man who hated sleeves. He only wore sleeves when he had to go to the SHOT Show, and then as a protest, he wore sp- what chrome, silver Dura chrome. chrome, baby. Dura chrome sport jackets and so forth. But uh, we're gonna, today we're going to talk about uh, the official Rhodesian camouflage and uh, uh, I'm going to throw this little personal thing in there. It's not really a personal thing. You guys know we did uh, the Real Men Wear Shorts video series last summer. And uh, the reason I did that was uh, as kind of a tongue-in-cheek uh, homage to the hardcore warriors of the Rhodesian Light Infantry who literally, not figuratively, wore shorts for a good portion of the Rhodesian Bush War, and there's there's photographic evidence of that. So, uh, well, one of the things, I, one of the issues I had as I was preparing to do that series was trying to find authentic Rhodesian camouflage stuff. Right? I wanted to, you know, I wanted to do it real. I wanted to do it right. When we did the the Saigon report, I got the olive drab slash pocket. You know, uh, uh, not camis, utilities. The the and I, I wore those because those were essentially what they wore. Uh, the American troops wore in Vietnam, and so I was trying to come up with official Rhodesian, not knockoffs and and not close to it, not the lizard print and not the Belgian, but actual Rhodesian. And I had a terrible time. I had a terrible time. I did the best I could, but. Uh, for for whatever reason, the American camouflage clothing companies, you can get everything. You can get retarded things like purple, black, white camo, orange, black, yellow, white camo. You can get you can get all kinds of retarded stuff. But do you think that proper or you know, fill in the blank has the Rhodesian pattern. No. Uh, my friend Jacob, and Jacob, you know who you are if you're listening. If you're not listening, you're a douche. Somebody tell Jacob to go listen. <laughs> uh, and every, the people who know him were like, ah, they're falling out right now. And they, <laughs> but uh, he said, hey, I found this company. They're in Canada, but they make official roadie camouflage clothing. So I contacted him. Went to their website, and uh, they're not a huge company. So what they do is they take orders and they do production runs. That's what a lot of small companies do. They're like, they get so many orders, then they'll do a production run. Uh, so I I ordered them. Well, I made the mistake of doing that when uh, the world was still had, in the midst of a mental breakdown. Now, it, like it or dislike it, love it or hate it, we put ourselves over the last 20 years, the last generation, we in North America put ourselves in a position where we were going to be the slaves to the uh, Chinese Communist Party. And what I got back from the guys was like, hey, there's like one company on planet Earth that makes this material, a Rhodesian. Because you understand that <laughs> you guys understand that a company that makes that sews stitches and sews clothing most of them are not large enough to have a mill to manufacture the cloth what? you guys get that right what just manufacturing the cloth on giant spools 
uh, is is an expensive thing, and, and they're not. Most companies can't do it, right? So what do they do? They buy the material from a big corporation that makes it, and then they cut it and sew it and stitch it and put it together and sell it to you. Well, we all know what we did, and we know all know what we did to sell our souls to the Chinese Communist Party, and then thanks to the Kung Flu, they they shut down the factories, and then when they finally opened them back up, they put the stuff on the ships. It got across the ocean, and then what did it do? Oh, it sat it's off the, the coast for weeks, months. Oh, yeah, it didn't even get to the port yet. Yeah, it didn't even get to the port. So, long story short, I ordered this clothing <laughs> last year. And they finally they finally shipped the material. Then it, sat off the, then it sat off the west coast on a ship waiting for its turn to be unloaded. Then it finally got unloaded. Then it sat in customs waiting for the Stasi, uh, the bureaucrats, to approve it for entry into the country. Then it finally got to them. They cut it, stitched it, sewed it, and sent it. And uh, what well, that brings us to, why is this a Duracoat fi- finished firearm? Well, the, if you look at some of the p- photos that we posted from this weekend from our long-range precision class, you'll see that yours truly is wearing an authentic Rhodesian-style boonie cover. That was the, you guys are like, that looks weird. That's a weird-looking hat. They don't, boonies don't look like that. They used to. Ladies and gentlemen, that is that is the booty that your grandpa wore. That's the size of the or the design that uh, your grandpa wore in Vietnam. If you look at the old Vietnam uh, footage and photos and so forth, they were wearing olive drab booty covers, and they looked just like that. They looked just like that. It wasn't until later on that they decided to extend the brims to be a full three inch brim. I believe that's a two-inch brim. If I had to measure, it's probably a two-inch brim. Uh, but if you look at the photos, especially the one of me shaking Carson Gross's hand, uh, I'm shaking Carson's hand there, I am wearing official Rhodesian camouflage, and I got that from a company called Fire Force Ventures. Now, the great news about them, and, and we're going we're gonna to finish this up and then we're going to move on, but the great news about them is, uh, like many companies, Jared, which company did we just talk about that was in Canada and they escaped across the border to the United States so they could live sort of free? It was another company. About? It was another company. It was a... <sighs> Crap, we were just talking about them this weekend. How they they got out of Canada and they, and they came to the United States so they could produce their wares. I don't know. Oh, crap. Crap balls. One of you guys, hey, who was with us this weekend and uh, remembers that conversation? I must not have been in on that one. I, I think it was a porch cigar conversation. Any user. So uh, our guys up there at the company Fire Force Ventures, ones that make official Rhodesian camouflage, they make it as close to the original pattern as they can. Uh, they are in the process of trying to escape from the People's Republic of Canada to get out from under the thumb of Trudeau. Of course, we're, what we're doing in the meantime is we're trying to turn the United States of America into a third world dictatorship, but that's a story for another day. Now, if, if you look at the official Duracoat Rhodesian, it's got a little bit more tan in it than I would like. Um, but uh, so what we're going to do now, well, we know that the original, that the brush or the, the camouflage that they put on their R1s was was baby poop and and forest green with a with a paintbrush. We did that. We yeah, we, buddy. we know that. Uh, we know that that they didn't look super pretty like Duracoat jobs. But uh, if you haven't checked out well, either the official Rhodesian pattern or the the classic woodland pattern or the super modern. Uh, what what does they call it? They can't call it multicam because that's trademark. So it's like OCP or something like that. You down with OCP? Yeah, you know me. <laughs> People are like, what did he just say? What did you just did he just say that? Yeah, it's OCP, operational camouflage pattern. 
they got the OCP, they got the digital, uh, they've got the roadie, they got the really the the Rhodesian that's that's nicer than any Rhodesian paint scheme that ever got put on anything. Uh, but check out our, our friends at Duracoat uh, Firearms. It's Duracoat Firearm Finishes, and if you would like to be a master, if you'd like to be a pro, just click the link in the show notes. It'll take you to Duracoat University. Bing, bang, boom. Uh, you can impress your friends and neighbors and put some Imperial credits into your pocket at the same time. So there you go. 